Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to disable even more spyware in Windows 10. First things first, let's get the software we require. So I'm going to open up my browser, as you can see it's Opera, and go to github.com slash n-u-m-m-e-r slash destroy dash windows dash 10 dash spying slash releases. Once we're on here, you can see it's called DWS version 1.6 build 722 and just click on downloads. I'm just going to download the executable myself. It's going to ask me where to save it, so I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. Once it's been downloaded, I can double click it up here and it will open. User account control will kick in and ask me if I'm trusting the publisher. I am, so I'm going to click yes. And as you can see, the software is now running. This is nice and simple to run. All you have to do is decide what you actually want to block. You can create a system restore point and you can enable professional mode, which allows you to delete the keyloggers and telemetry, add the spy domains to the host files, disable private settings, disable Windows Defender, set, Windows, set default Windows Photo Viewer, Disable spying tasks. The spying tasks are scheduled tasks which run and uh, automatically run the spyware. The default Windows Photo Viewer, that's a matter of personal preference. That will more likely set it, sorry, that does set it to the previous version, more like Windows 7 and Windows 8. Disable private settings, it's stuff that's hidden that you're not basically supposed to see. You can also disable the main. Windows 10 Metro apps. I'm not going to go into that just now. I'll maybe do that in another tutorial, but for the time being, that should be fine. You can click on Utilities, and you can do you know, Restore System, delete OneDrive and stop it from running if you don't use OneDrive. Delete all the Windows 10 Metro apps. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. You can open and edit the host files manually. Enable or disable UAC, that's User Account Control. Enable or disable Windows Update. Now I've also done a video on how to disable Windows Update, so this software would actually be able to do that for you. You can disable Office 2016 Telemetry, but I don't actually have it installed, so there's no issue with that. And can fix screen rotation. That one's a new one. Don't actually know what that's about. A little bit of about info and a readme. Pretty much all you want to do is select in here what you require, what you feel safe removing. Obviously IT Snippets is not responsible for any mistakes that you make or any problems you have after using this software and neither are the people who made the software. Then you just click on Main and then click Destroy Windows 10 Spying. And you give that a moment, this is actually really quick. You can see it's listing what it's doing in the panel in front of us. This shouldn't take more than maybe a minute or so. All these numbers that are scrolling by are the IP addresses that are used by Microsoft as part of their spying and they're being added to the firewall rules inside Windows so that the Windows firewall blocks them from actually communicating to the outside. Or more specifically, it stops your PC from communicating to those IPs and vice versa. This is typically taking longer than I thought. I will probably end up speeding this up in post. No, maybe not. Okay. It's telling me that it's complete and a restart is required to disable all the spyware tasks and asking me if I want to restart now. Because I'm recording, I'm not going to do that. But you would click yes and your system would reboot and all of the spyware that this actually disables will then be disabled permanently. Be careful when using any software like this because when you disable something like this, it might not be permanently disabled because any Windows updates that Microsoft sends down may re-enable this stuff. The main problem with that is we've seen it before when Windows anniversary update appeared. And when Microsoft pushed that down, it started to revert to old default settings. So if you're going to do a you know, a big major update to a Windows like the anniversary update, then I would suggest that once it's done, you rerun this software or Beacon or any of the other software that I've described previously in this. 
If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give us a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. But most of all, thank you for watching.